it, it doesn't seem as though we're making as much progress as we'd like. Uh, in late to mid-2009, the summer, there was an issue with the whitewashing of books, which raised a lot of controversy in the blogosphere. I don't know if you're aware that there was a book called Liar by a white Australian uh, author, Justine Larbalestier. She described her main character as being black with nappy hair, uh, being able to pass for a boy. And uh, her publisher, Bloomsbury USA, put a white girl on the cover with long straight hair. And there was such a huge outroar that Bloomsbury ultimately changed the cover. Uh, and yet six months later, they did the exact same thing with another book called Magic Under Glass, also written by a white author, who described her main character as brown-skinned with long, glossy black hair. They put a white girl on the cover who was kind of blonde. There was more outrage. How could this happen again? They changed the cover again. And there was a young uh, black woman blogger. She's a teenager, Ari, and her blog is Reading in Color. And I would really encourage you to check it out. I'm just going to wrap up by reading some of her words. She wrote an open letter to Bloomsbury. I'm sure you can't imagine what it's like to wander through the teen section of a bookstore and only see one or two books with people of color on them. Do you know how much that hurts? Are we so worthless that the few books that do feature people of color don't have covers with people of color?